thousand dollars, which means I need to turn it into like fifty thousand in sales before fees and stuff to be happy. So that means I have to list it all myself. So that's fine. Oh, this is cool. Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to the channel. I am back at the mystery storage unit, the eight thousand dollar mystery storage unit, and we're going to be going through some more bags today to see what's inside. If you're new here, you can go back and watch the previous videos. But six months ago, I bought another reseller's inventory to sell on Poshmark. I spent eight thousand dollars, and then I put it in storage, and I haven't touched it since. So um, there's still over a hundred bags to go through. We'll go through a few of them today and I'll see if I can make any money. So that's that. Let's get started. This is video five, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you guys have been like, <laughs> I need you guys to know something. I was going to break that fourth wall or third, whatever that saying is, but we film a lot of videos on the same day. So I've been putting out thrift with me videos still. And people are like, stop going thrifting, go back to the storage unit. And I'm like, no, these are old. These are, we pre-film everything, you guys. So um, we lost count. This is the fifth time we're here. Yeah, this is fifth, five. This is video number five of storage unit. You can go watch the full playlist. We ha we'll have it linked somewhere. Let's get it back. <laughs> It feels like, honestly, like we haven't even made a dent. Like a little tiny one, maybe. We're going to be here for a while. <sighs> yeah. It's going to be a long day. I think this is a Juicy Couture set. You guys know that I've been loving to buy Juicy Couture lately. Is it? No. Something. It's something velour. I think people like velour right now. Um, but let's break this bag open. Wow. Okay, so I've been taking all this stuff home, washing it, listing it. All of that good stuff. This first piece is a beavers. So this is the Oregon State beavers. I think our family's a duck family. There's like the beavers and the ducks. Um, I don't actually watch it, but I think Joe likes the ducks. Who knows? Anyway, that's a beavers jacket. <laughs> this is a Nike jacket. Um, this is a Nike extra large fleece lined hoodie it is very it has a lot of peeling on it but <laughs> we're worried that, that alarm is gonna go off again with every sound we have, um we have a little anxiety if you guys didn't see that anyway that's a nike jacket so there you go 20 bucks right there Ooh, this is a free people jacket this is cute it's so wrinkled from being in there for six months this is um Feels like it's leather, but it's not. It's a rayon? That's weird. Okay, well, this is a really nice um, little cute free people kind of moto style jacket. That will definitely sell probably for like $35 or so. It's a smaller size. We have some more stuff. What is this? This is like Gatorade. It's not though. <laughs> this is a Jordan uh, Nike hoodie. Oh, it is, look it. It is a Gatorade hoodie. Ha -ha. It's from Nike though. And look at, I got this, a lot of people ask me about my tattoos. I got this tattoo when I was like 17 in a bathroom by a friend. It was a bad life choice, okay? It looks like the stupid Gatorade symbol, I know. And it's just awful, but it just, my best friend at the time got the same tattoo. I never could get it covered or removed because it just makes me laugh at the decisions that you make when you're 17. Like who thought it was a good idea? I was sitting on a toilet. Oh my God. This is... Oh, I didn't get it in time. I don't know. We called it though. We're back at the storage unit and I just want to say the alarm went off and I again started to run away. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I just think I'm just going to leave you. I didn't go past her this time at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, back to filming. In case you're wondering what I'm doing today, we're sorting through some stuff at the storage unit for more videos that will be up in like a week or so. Okay, bye the storage unit I just want we just knew today this was gonna there happen. was yeah you, it, it clicks every couple minutes and I don't think we're used to it 
There's something. Anyway, side note, I too have really terrible 17 year old tattoos, so. You get it. I'm with you. Amanda understands. Homemade tattoos. <laughs> you know, you just gotta keep them to remember. I know, good memory. It gives you character. It does give you character. But you see, they're like falling down, it's driving me crazy. Okay, <laughs> let's <right>. do this. <gasps> Shake it off. Here we go. A Gatorade jacket. I will definitely sell that. Okay. Here's more Nike, tons of Nike, because of course I live Nike World Headquarters. A Nike funnel neck jacket. Um, I, this is like the fourth one I pulled out of this exact jacket. There is a lot of peeling on this, but that doesn't scare me because I just take my handy dandy sweater shaver, shave that off. I actually really enjoy shaving the things off. It's very, very soothing. Um, this is a North Face. It's a vintage North Face. Oof, oof. This has got the most sweat stains. This is disgusting, but I'm gonna clean it. I'm not gonna let it go to a landfill. I will clean this bad boy up. This is made in the USA. That is a, this is a valuable jacket. So this is a vintage North Face made in the USA. I'll put some OxyClean on this bad boy. It will clean up and then I'll be able to sell it probably for like a hundred dollars or so. <laughs> Come here, what else? Ooh, a Helly Hansen snow jacket. We like this, this is a good Helly Hansen. Nice, um, size medium. Again, this needs to be soaked in some OxyClean, but that's fine. I take some OxyClean, some dish detergent, I mix it up and then uh, I have a top loading washing machine. So I just let it sit there for a little bit. And usually all of those types of stains come off. We have another Nike hoodie. So it's just do it on the front. We have a Adidas hoodie. This isn't, I'm not gonna sell this probably. This is just like an older Adidas hoodie. It's not in good condition. And the style is not a style that I think will do very well. So we're gonna leave that behind or donate that to a shelter. There's a lot of sounds. I don't know what this is. Hold on, it's Nike something. It's got some sort of logo. It's probably a sports logo. <laughs> you know what that is? Let me know in the comments down below because I have no idea. It looks like it says MC something. I don't know. I, I saw that they started playing hockey again though. That's exciting. I do like hockey. I don't know anything about the game, but I do enjoy, you know, a hockey player. That's the only sport I want to watch. This is nice. This is a Nike tech hoodie. Um, it's got this like mesh detailing on it. It's in really good shape. Needs to be washed, of course. It's got some surface stuff. That's not a big deal. Size small. I believe this is a men's. I really like this one. Okay, probably sell that for around 50. So there we go. One bag. Let's grab another bag. You guys can hear, hear that. That would be the, this is a, um, they have like the trucks that you can rent and stuff here. Loud. Okay, let's have another bag. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna adjust your mic a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Bag two. Look, I'm Vanna White. How does she do it with the, the, what is that? It's not the prices, right? Is it? No. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, you like Wheel of Fortune? Yeah. I grew up watching that. I, yeah, I love those too. I love it. All my family members were on it. I'm the only Excuse one me? Yeah, my dad and both my brothers were on Wheel of Fortune. The one won though. But I really want to go on Wait, it. what the heck? Yeah. They just randomly were, how do you know. even get picked to go on that it show? It was like the 90s. Forget. Game shows were so cool when we were oh, little. Bring it back. No. Let's see what's in this bag, shall we? It's like a game show almost. It's like, am I gonna win? This is a Lucky Brand tank, or not tank. Tanks have no sleeves. <laughs> that called a Henley, actually, with these buttons. Um, so that's good. We have some Nike Windbreaker pants. These are uh, definitely like early 2000 Y2K pants, which I will definitely use as a keyword in my listing. 
A sweater from Point Sur, which is sold at J. Crew. This is a really cute sweater, actually. It's kind of like a boxy crop, but it's got this big sleeve. It has, it's definitely mohair. Loving this sweater. It's in really good shape, too. So that's good. All right, I'll take that. Ooh. <laughs> I have Nike leggings, Nike dry fit running leggings. We usually sell those for like 15 to 20. God, there's so much money in these storage units, in these, in this one that I actually put the stuff into <laughs> that I knew was money that I've let sit. This is a Piranha um, sweater. It is a hooded sweater with that kangaroo pocket on the front. That's really cute. Some distressed jeans from Lucky Brand. So these are Lucky Brand. The style name isn't on here, but I can easily look it up. The little tag with the numbers. That's a style number that I can Google. Oh, no, it is on here. Serena Tomboy. There we go. These are cute little Tomboy jeans. We have a pair of AG Corduroy Stevie Straight. These are very short ankle jeans. Are these hemmed? No, they look like the original manufacturer. That has a very short inseam on it though. Is this a, hmm. I'll stop paying attention to that. Anyway, those will sell. It's crazy because these jeans were like $200 brand new, but they'll sell for like 25 second hand. They don't hold their value. Um, we have a Nike men's athletic shirt. A pair of jeans from DL 1961. A few years ago, I was selling these jeans like hotcakes. They come in a lot of like stitch fix boxes among other things. And um, the market has really dipped on these jeans, but I'll still probably be able to sell them for $20 or so. And that's fine. My average sell price right now, I think is right around 25. So I'll take it. These are rag and bone high rise, um, like skinny jeans, gray, we'll take those. Look at all those great pants in here. Pair of cabbie jeans, very wrinkled, clean those up. I would say like 20 to 25 on all of these jeans that I'm pulling out, there's a lot of them. Pair of page skinny jeans. Again, this is another one of those like $200 brand jeans. I'll probably sell these for 35 or so. These are cute. And we have a pair, another pair of page jeans with the zipper details. What are you? Do you have a style name? I don't see the style on it. I like when jeans just tell you what the style name is. It makes your life so much easier. Um, Goodwill wanted $30 for these. The three X's means 30. I know Owen got these at the bins for sure. Almost all of these items came from the bins. Um, so our bins can be really good here, but it's because our Goodwill overprices. So if it doesn't sell at Goodwill, it typically will go to the bins and Goodwill marks things like page jeans for $30. So uh, these are nice, actually. I might, uh, they have like a hole. Joe will want these. Joe likes to wear these pants and these are his size. They have like a little flaw in the front, but he can just stitch that up or wear them around the house. So I wouldn't be able to sell these because they are flawed but I'm going to take them home and get them to my husband. That's so nice of me, I know. <sighs> These are Miss Me jeans, which I typically don't pick up anymore, but they will sell. So I'll take them home with me. They're size 29. Um, they don't have like a very much bling on them. Usually Miss Me jeans have the flat pockets with all the crazy bling. So these are different, that's okay. I have another pair of pants. These are cute. These are Anthropology, um, E T T T W E. I don't know what that is, but it's it has a buy Anthropology tag. These are really cute. Size large, the tuxedo stripe down the side. I would totally wear these. I might wear these. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Ooh, I am wearing these. For sure, I remember when these were at the Nike store, I almost bought them. This is 1000% my style. Yes, these are mine. I'm sorry, you cannot buy them. I'm keeping them. Look, oh, they're kind of dirty. That's fine, I'll wash them. These are so cool, you guys. <laughs> Merry Christmas to me, I'm keeping those. If I was gonna sell them though, I'd probably wash them up, sell them for 40 to $50, which I'll do after I wear them a little bit. 
Okay. These are AG graduate jeans. These are men's. Joe used to really like these jeans, actually. He doesn't, he's mostly wearing <laughs> sweatpants these days, um, like the rest of the world, but these are good jeans. Ooh, we have a Peter Miller pair of pants. These were probably two, $300 brand new. They are a men's size 35. Nice corduroy pant. Um, I'll have a harder time selling these, but they will move. So I'll wash them up and then get them listed. We have an American Eagle pair of kick boot jeans. These will sell for maybe $15. And then a couple more things in this bag. This was a good bag. I like all the pants. We haven't seen a lot of pants coming out of here yet. This is a uh, Under Armour pair of jogger sweatpants. Nothing fancy. Um, these will probably sell for like $10, but I'll put them in my closet. People are looking for these cozy clothes right now. And then last but not least is this American Eagle pair of slim straight jeans. Are these men's? Yeah, 28 by 30 men's distressed so there we go two bags we'll do one more and I'll show you and then we'll count the pieces let me move this to the back dun, 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 dun. okay oh <gasps> what bag should I pick oh okay this is the bag we don't know what's inside it's already ripping <gasps> oh there's more pants in here oh I must have gotten to the pants section of the unit. Look at this gorgeous beaut. Look at her. Wow. What's this? What's this? This is very in style. Um, I'm going to clean that up. I'm not just going to leave trash on the ground. FYI. These are free people size 31. Pleather. Faux leather leggings these are so on trend right now in this forest green color i'm very excited to find these and it looks like they're brand new um tag is missing but like the pull the hang tag and stuff is still on them okay i'm excited about these i don't know how much they sell for but that's a good find that's very on trend we have an older athleta skirt and it's making some crinkly sounds. The tag is missing. We're not going to list this. There's no tag. You know, athletic wear, when you um, fold it and then you pull it apart and it makes that like sound because it's been washed wrong. That's what this sounds like. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and donate that. We have a pair of Nike dry fit running capri pants. We'll take those. A North Face, just a basic North Face shirt. There we go. Uh, this is really soft. I don't know why this is so soft. Feel this material. Look it. It's very soft. Yeah, it's like a, I don't know, like a brushed cotton. I don't understand jersey? that. Brushed jersey? North Face isn't usually like soft. Anyway, that's very soft. You guys can't feel it, but Amanda, Amanda backs me that this is a soft t-shirt. I'm going to put down the title. These are some sort of two-toned pants. <laughs> what? Da, 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 da. Okay. Look at if you're gonna like rob a bank, you wear a pant like this. So when you go in, it looks like you're wearing gray pants, right? And then when you leave, they'll be too distraught to realize the back is black. So you can you're like a burglar. I think. I'm probably wrong. Don't burglarize anything. And these pants are pretty cool, but they are Levi's. I don't know how much people pay for them, but that's my assessment of those pants. Um, Adidas. These are just a pair of Adidas jogger pants. The pocket is like, you can tell that I bought this stuff from a dude because like guys just throw the shit in bags. It's not like like me I would be like nicely folding this is just like rolled up and shoved in a bag um these need to be washed but these will definitely sell we have a pair of Nike golf I'm guessing yes I'm right Nike golf pants pleated front size 32 get those listed and sold 
pair true religions. I don't know if these are real or not. True religions are faked so often that it's always hard. Um, we'll have to do some research. If these are real, I will probably listen. This is a classic true religion. Uh, my guess is that this style of gene is going to come back. With everything else, it's coming back from my childhood. This was like right when I graduated high school, a little bit around that time. So the next year or two, we're going to be selling these. So maybe I should just like stock up on them. I like, I should have stocked up on those Juicy Couture sweatsuits. Um, someone told me that they saw a video of me talking about Juicy Couture and they listed a sweatsuit and it sold for $80 in like an hour. I was like, yes. Um, these will go to Des. This is the only pant that Des likes to wear are these Nike Tech sweatpants. He's been wearing them for years. I don't know what we're going to do if he ever, if they ever stop making them. Um, these are his size. So go to Des. We have a anthropology pair of Pilgrim on the Letter Press skinny jeans, a something skirt, shorts, running shorts from Nike. Look at these are cool because they have like the compression shorts underneath and then the fun short on the top. List those bad boys. Fast fly. What does that mean? Um, Nike track and field t-shirt. These are really, really worn. Or maybe they were supposed to be crackled like that because the, it doesn't, that's weird. So these are Nike shorts. And it looks like the logo is super cracked and destroyed, but when you touch it, it's not cracked. I think that they actually meant for it to be look like to look like that. I'm gonna take them home. I'm gonna look up the style number, and if they are supposed to be like that, I'll list them. And if not, we'll donate them. We have a pair of Billabong board shorts da, 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 da. for land and water, is what it says on the back. We'll get those listed. And another pair of shorts from um, Adidas. These are like golf shorts, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. Bermuda shorts. There is so much stuff in here. Uh, another pair of Quicksilver board shorts. And another pair of running shorts. Oh. The elastic is bad in these. And one, it could be because it was in my storage unit for so long. Um, you should always pull elastic and you can you can hear it like cracking if it's gone bad. And this has like no stretch to it anymore. Um, so that's trash, unfortunately. Aloe yoga, just a little fitted top. This is kind of dated, but I bet someone will still want that. We have another pair of running shorts from Adidas that are similar. Let's see if the elastic's good in these. Yep. See how it bounces back. That means it's okay still. What is this? <gasps> these are sweater pants from, oh, it's a skirt. Still nice, but I thought they were sweater leggings. I was going to get really excited. This is an Eileen Fisher, a hundred percent wool, uh, maxi skirt. This will do well as long as there's no flaws on it, which it doesn't look like there's any flaws. So we'll get that bad boy listed for like 75. Uh, a Columbia men's short size 42. Nice size. Those will sell a pair of something. <sighs> okay. This is a tennis skirt from Adidas. So it has the skirt, but also the built-in Short, short, skirt, skort, skort. Haha. <laughs> skort. That's a skort. This is a pair of Hurley. God, I can't talk. After talking this much to yourself, it gets hard. Um, these are missing the tag, so we're just going to donate those. They're not like this item is probably going to sell for $10 to $15. So with the tag in place. So without the tag, it's going to be hard to sell. So I'm going to pass. This elastic is bad as well. I can hear it cracking. So passing on those. This is why you don't leave stuff in storage for six months. Uh, Nike dry fit shorts. A mountain hardware <laughs> pair of shorts that are very wrinkled. This is a ripstop material. Um, ripstop material is really good for outdoor wear. So if it starts to rip, it has like 
it looks like little tiny squares in the fabric. Um, a lot of people look for ripstop material. So make sure if you do have something that has this material that you put it either in your title or your description, that's really important. <laughs> Pair of Nike running shorts that are men's that are not destroyed. So we'll take those. A Adidas tennis skirt again. Really cute. What are you? What are you? Um, AG jeans. So AG Stevie ankle distressed denim jeans. There's a lot of stuff in these bags. <laughs> We've pulled up open some bags that just have like 10 jackets. And then we're pulling out these that have a lot. I wonder how many pieces are here. These are Nike um, size medium pants. My daughter would totally want these, but I'm not going to, I kid, I don't know what I'll do with these. We're putting them in the cell pile for now. These are the kind of pants my daughter likes to wear. We have an Adidas skirt, shorts, shorts, some more shorts, lots of shorts, actually. Uh, Nike basketball shorts and Nike shorts. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. A top from Michael Kors randomly mixed in here. It's like all athletic wear. And then this Michael Kors wrap front shirt. This won't sell for much, probably like 10 to $15, but we'll take it. Nike golf men's shirt, vineyard vines, women's um, little shorts. These are cool. These will definitely sell this. Uh, what does it say on the inside? Oh, that's sweet. It says every day you should feel this good. It's a very nice thing to say to me, Shorts. Thank you for the motivation. <sighs> Adidas shorts again. And a Columbia pair of shorts. Oh my God. <laughs> a Nike pair of shorts. There's so much. I have to list all of this. <laughs> Oh, and no, I'm not selling reseller lots, you guys. They just have too many problems, too many complaints when I do reseller lots. And honestly, I want to list all this because I spent $8,000, which means I need to turn it into like 50,000 in sales before fees and stuff to be happy. So that means I have to list it all myself. So that's fine. Oh, this is cool. Does anyone know what this is? This is a pair of reversible Lululemon shorts. So you can be funky or you can be normal, whatever you feel like being that day. Um, they're super, super peeling from being washed, but this comes right off with the sweater shaver. I have my favorite one linked in the Amazon links. Um, along with down below, you'll find info for my course and my planner and all the other stuff that's reselling related that I have. So make sure you check the links down below, but that's everything. Let me count really fast, see how many pieces I have. Be right back. Okay, 63 items that I pulled from three bags that I'm listing. And then we have another six over here that I'm not listing. So that's pretty good. That's 59 items in total. <laughs> We're trying to do math anyway, lots of stuff in here, guys. So I'm gonna get it listed. Remember, if it's not listed, it's not selling. And I'll be back again tomorrow with a another video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you later. Goodbye. We can do math. We swear. <laughs> I swear to God, I can do math. Okay.